Update 4 on former Category 5 Typhoon Halong, which has weakened significantly since then of course, is now a Category 2 storm with 100 mile per hour winds um, sustained and a pressure of 959 millibars. Its position is 23.6 degrees north, 131.1 degrees east as of 2pm UTC on August the 6th, uh, which locates the storm just south of the Japanese islands, in particular the small Dioto Islands which it could make a direct hit on as a Category 2 Typhoon. Uh, the storm is expected to move towards the north northeast um, and is likely to make landfall in Japan, mainly on the island of Shikoku, where it could do as a strong Category 1 storm, and then onto the main island of Honshu in the Chugoku area. Um, and then the storm is expected to continue towards the northeast, um, turning extra tropical after it moves out out to sea um, in over off the co northern coast of Japan. It could also strike Hokkaido as well as an extra tropical storm. Right now, gale advisories in effect for Okinawa, but typhoon warnings in effect for the Daito Islands at the moment. Uh, the storm's located just south of there uh, right now, and gale advisories and typhoon warnings may be extended further north um, as the storm makes its way towards that area, um, towards the mainland of Japan. It is moving rather slowly, so that's why warnings are not in effect for more regions just yet, but they should be expected, and those on the Japanese islands should be preparing for storm conditions. Sea surface temperatures are around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius in general where the storm's located and that's likely to continue um, almost all the way to Shikoku, certainly favourable over 26 degrees Celsius um, all the way to its landfall, um, so that's not going to be an issue. Wind shear high amounts just south of Japan but where the storm is right now uh, fairly low and decreasing towards its northeast, though it is rising uh, just beyond the island of Okinawa in the East China Sea. Looking at the water vapour imagery, you can see how the storm is not particularly um, well organised, though it is not looking too bad, I guess. Um, certainly got a well-defined eye wall um, and could uh, strike with some strong conditions. Um, the computer models, the CMC, takes it just towards the left there, which is rather interesting. That means it would be worse conditions for the northern Amami Islands and the southern Kyushu um, and the rest of Japan. Um, and more storms forming behind there as well. The GFS model uh, takes the storm a little bit towards the left as well, so both of them predicting a little bit of a westward jog as it moves towards the north, uh, possibly making a landfall if it goes far enough on Kyushu, but that's not particularly likely. You can also see Genevieve off to the right-hand side as well, near the international dateline. Looking at the latest satellite imagery on the floater, you can actually see some evidence to the contrary, where the storm's been moving towards the northeast rather than a westward jog, though that was forecasted, albeit. Um, but you can still see an eye there, uh, still just about maintaining itself. The Daito Islands are very small islands towards the north of the storm, uh, just off the spiral bands right now. Uh, certainly the storm's influence will be coming in full force very soon in the next few hours, certainly before this day is out. Um, towards the south, that's where the worst of the storm is at the moment, I'd say. Uh, perhaps towards the northeast as well, um, a little bit of a band forming there. Um, but yes, all around storm winds, of course, 100 miles per hour gusting to higher amounts than that, possibly to Category 3 strength, um, and heavy rain included too. Around the world right now, as of August the 6th, there are five storms active, which doesn't happen very often. Genevieve, Isel, Julio, Bertha, and Halong. Um, and also uh, another invest, I think there was as well, uh, 98E in the Eastern Pacific, which has a 10% chance of development. Uh, Genevieve is also likely to enter the Western Pacific tomorrow. 46 storms have formed so far in 2014 worldwide. Uh, 21 of those have become Category 1 typhoons or their equivalents worldwide with winds of 74 miles per hour plus. And 12 of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher. Um, of course, that's just 7 off 2010, uh, which is in 25th place in the 26 year record um, of yearly totals. Uh, I think we, quite, we might reach that. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, will keep you most up to date with all the goings on around the world, tropics wise. The video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, will also keep you up to date at regular intervals. Just search Force 13 on there. And of course, the social pages too Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 on those. It's at Force 13 on Twitter. Um, and you can speak to me personally on Skype if you so wish. Add Fool 13 on there for tropical weather chat if you so wish. You can also get in touch on the forum as well and uh, discuss tropics with uh, fellow storm trackers and ask questions or whatever you want to do on there, uh, which we launched yesterday, um, well, two days ago now, on August the 4th, um, and is now available um, to use. The next update on this storm will follow at 2am UTC on August the 7th, if necessary.